Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your end of July reading. Typically my readings are love readings, so just keep that in mind. Um, I need you to remember that if this feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. Okay, this reading might not be for you. This is for Gemini, Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I think you guys are trying to find some balance. Trying to avoid disaster. There's a lack of communication, there's a lack of movement. You could be involved in a dead end situation. Maybe you just need to maybe you need a break. Maybe you need a break to regain some balance. There's been some discontent in a relationship or in your life. There's just been some discontent, period. You may be backing away not wanting to communicate at this time. Ooh. Wanting a clean slate. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I feel like you guys are, are right in your element. You're seeing things clearly and you're being you're being decisive. You're telling it like it is. You could be dealing with somebody that doesn't want to hear it doesn't want to see the truth, you know, and you're being forthright, and somebody may not like that, just saying. Um, you could be involved in a one-sided situation, um, not getting what you deserve, and you know it. You know it. There could be somebody, you know, oftentimes, not always, the temperance card is escape it till you make it. So... Somebody could be escaping something, trying to, you know, make it happen, whatever it is, escaping reality even. I mean, it can be. So I feel like perhaps there's a, a romantic interest or a romance or relationship that's going south. I mean, this, this Knight of Cups is reversed. Maybe somebody came to sweep you off your feet and, you know, they were Prince Charming on their horse and they came in just to trot in with their, uh, whatever it is they had, you know, their shine, whatever, their, their gifts, you know, their belongings, whatever they got, you know, they came in in their, on their, uh, chariot and, uh, now they aren't given anymore. You know, they came in and they were given and then now all of a sudden they're not given. They're not given. And maybe you're like, what? I'm confused here. But you're not confused. I think you're seeing the situation clearly. I feel as though you may be involved in a situation that is leading towards a dead end. And, you know, you don't want to be taken advantage of. And I think that, you know, there's an exciting new opportunity for you. This is, there's probably a situation where you maybe you have to cut somebody out because you have somebody that is better suited for you, somebody that is, you know, could bring more excitement, more life, more passion to your life. Um, but I feel like right now you you may be maybe you need to stop communicating, or you need to communicate. Maybe you're holding it in. You're being silent. You're being silent because this is no no communication coming in, but it's connected to you. Not giving. You maybe maybe somebody is waiting for you to communicate with them about a new beginning, about a fresh start. I think somebody is waiting for you to commute you to make the decision. But maybe you found somebody better, Gemini. is this anyway um 
Yeah, you know, the eight of cups, somebody has left a situation, walked away, turned their back on somebody because they were, you've avoided a disaster, put it that way. You've avoided somebody who was, I don't think they were being honest with you. You were dealing with somebody who was temperamental, doesn't have to be in reverse. You were dealing with, with a situation where you weren't getting anything from this person. Now you find somebody else, but they want you to communicate with them. What the hell is this? Anyway, we're going to zoom this in. And you're probably like, hell no. You ain't getting shit from me. That's the way I see it. Um, hmm. Other people see that you're balanced. They see that you're harmonious. They see that you're doing quite well. They see that you... Um, I think you've gone through some sort of renewal, okay? That's what they see. And they see that, you know, you're being practical here. I think your challenge, this is your challenge position. The fool is, is a fresh new start. Your challenge is taking a risk now. Your challenge is about opening your heart, allowing, allowing somebody this new opportunity to thrive. I think that's what the challenge is now. You probably are, are feeling like, you know what, well, I'm not fully recuperated from this ass, whoever it is. Um, yeah, you've had been through some uh, mental turmoil. You've, had, you've been um, going back and forth in your head with this. You haven't completely let it go. You're, it's like you're mentally trapped in this situation when you really don't need to be. You're working on freeing yourself. You are. You are. Could have been dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. All right? But there's no victory and success there. And I think that you know that. I think that you know that. Whoever this other person was, you were dealing with a person that was really focused on their money, on their job, maybe on other people, and really wasn't focused on a commitment. You know, I don't think this person was. They weren't, they weren't looking for long term, whoever this person was. And I feel like, or being a family, I think they were focused more on their pentacles, more on their, more on their money, and maybe living the, the oh, bachelor type of life. You know that, you know what I mean? I mean, I feel like, you know, you, you realize, you see it, you're like, well, are you kidding me? You know, why would you even do this to me? Why would you get involved with me if that's not what, if you're not looking for a commitment? So I feel like you have just, it, it's really meant, kept you trapped because you probably feel like, what the, what, what, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? What, why? You know, but it wasn't you. I don't think it was you. I think it was the other person that isn't able to master their emotions. This person isn't strong. This person doesn't have discipline. They, they, they don't have the the emotional um, stability within them to bring success in regards to a relationship to their life. They're just not there. They're not there. It's like the escape reality. They probably have addictions with that temperance under, underneath. I feel like you were dealing with somebody in the past. The past is over here. You were in a run-sided situation that has left you men mentally conflicted, probably upset, you know, that this person didn't didn't uh, move forward with you, but I think this person, or you didn't move forward with them because, you know, they just weren't emotionally stable. That's all there was to it. So I feel like in the future, you have an opportunity for a fresh new start with somebody that is better suited for you. Okay? That's in the future. I, or now. You are with somebody or you are talking with somebody or you're getting an invitation or a message from somebody that could be a potential good suitor. But this is you letting go of the worry, letting go of the anxiety, letting go of the resentment. Okay? Accept this offer. There's somebody, there's a, there is an opportunity for new love here, Gemini, with somebody that suits you. Okay? But you need to let them in. Just because this ass over here didn't follow through, didn't was just a liar, you know, was offering you false love just to probably get in your pants or whatever it was, doesn't mean that this one is going to do that. I feel like there is a new opportunity for love, but you may be a little um, worried about accepting it. Um, but you need to let go of that worry and take a risk. Take a risk. You know, it's time to free yourself from that toxic situation that you were involved with. 
restored control in your life is this is a time of freedom it's a time for you're free you're free of this situation allow this new beginning to start there's a lot of passion to be had at now think later go with it just go with it this could be a fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius it could be a Capricorn but I really think it's probably a fire sign okay it could be any sign doesn't really matter but there's passion to be had with somebody new that suits you that you can that you jive with very very well but you may feel like there's dishonesty you may not trust them you you know you may have some trust issues at this point because you were lied to in the past there's been some deceit there's been dishonesty by this other person and I feel like at this point you know you're like I'm not sure I don't want to end up in any dead-end situations but this is something that you can't deny. So I think there's an unexpected choice in love for you, um, Gemini. This And this is for you, okay? This is for you. And I think it's going to come in very unexpectedly. It could come in quickly. This person is going to suit you very well. It could be a soulmate connection. There could be a lot of seduction. There could be a lot of lust. But it, there could also be a lot of love, okay? So don't let this past karmic, this is karma reverse, this is in the past, I know it is, this past karmic situation that was a joke, hold you back, okay? This was a joker, it was a joker. Don't, don't, to hell with that person. Don't let him cause another moment of mental stress. Okay, goodbye. You have somebody better much 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 better allow it to happen let it happen I'm not going to continue i'm going to go ahead and get the oracle cards there's an opportunity for love here for you gemini allow it this is divinely guided as far as i can see it's it's karma in your favor it's justice being served in your favor because there was no justice in this one the goosebumps have went just came up and down throughout both of my arms chills this is, this is a soulmate connection that is being offered to you because you, you passed some test by making a logical decision to cut this dumbass out of your life. So, whoever it was, I don't know. But Oh, wonderful. Back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. This is the truth. There's an opportunity for love here with somebody that you can look into their eyes and and feel feel what they're thinking. You jive, you feel each other, you know each other, you compliment each other. It's on equal ground. It's um, easy. Love heals. This person is coming in to help you heal over this. Perfect. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stay optimistic. Be open to this. I think this is a soulmate connection if you can just allow it to happen. Let your guard down. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here, and there absolutely is. For you. You deserve it. It's your turn. So, Gemini, this is what I have for you. I would say don't let that past non-committed SOB hold you back from opening your heart to, to Mr. Wright. Talk to you later. Or Mrs. Wright. Mr. or Mrs. Wright. <laughs>